What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Seasons. So, update time. Uh, it's been a while. I haven't been posting. So, what's been going on? Well, uh, a long list of things. A lot of work. Uh, fished two crappy Masters events. Uh, first two tournaments we've ever fished. Um, went back home to Mississippi, fished Grenada Lake. Got some footage from that. Uh, probably going to try to make something out of that, but... Uh, essentially what you're about to watch is a video where I was headed out to the local bayou trying to troubleshoot my live scope issues. And this is probably going to be early March in this video. And I still don't know what's wrong with my live scope. I'm still working with Garmin. I just need the time to get out on the water and uh, continue troubleshooting it. Uh, we used uh, my partner's boat for the tournament. So uh, the transmission went out of my truck. Uh, it, it's been a lot of stuff going on, right? So, hectic, hectic times. At any rate, uh, was really stoked about our first, uh, my, my partner, me and my partner, Chris Trailer's first finish at the Crappie Masters at Lake Darbonne, our first tournament. I think it was late February. Uh, we were in 36th place on day one out of 118 boats, and we ended up falling to 41st, and, and I was okay with that. So, the second tournament at Lake Fork, the one here recently, or second tournament we got to fish, uh, not so good. We actually did get to pre-fish this one, which is, if you're gonna fish against these pros and it's not something local to you, if you don't get to pre-fish, I mean, you're just gonna, if you don't get super lucky, you can pretty much hang it up. We did get to pre-fish one day. I think we chose the wrong, I chose the wrong fork of the lake to fish, but um, at any rate, we came in at 42nd out of 77. So not that great. We did increase on day two. We made some changes. But uh, still wasn't, wasn't what we were uh, looking for, but met some great people. And there's some really cool stuff coming up with that. So uh, some, some sponsors in, in the works in the future. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm, I'm glad we're getting the exposure for that. But anyway, I figured I might as well use this footage. Uh, give you all a quick update. You know, caught a few fish. Wasn't real talkative during that uh, session of me fishing because I got pretty mad at the fact that my unit still wasn't working after the changes, so I ended up going shallow. You'll notice that in the video and just uh, trying to catch spawning crappie. And uh, caught, caught a few, didn't catch it all on film, but got enough to to fill up a bag and decide to turn it into a catching cook. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. See, I knew them good ones. I mean, I had to drop on that fish. Oh. Sorry, folks, I'm on the phone here. I had to drop on that fish five stinking times, finally. That's a nice fish, sir. All right, guys. Well, I'm all the way at the end right now because of the wind. I'm going to work my... Yeah, well, I'm not at the mouth because the damn wind's blowing so bad, but I'm right at it. So I'm going to start... I'm going to start... Yeah, I'm going to start working my way back with the wind or back towards the boat ramp or whatever just hitting the brush tops and scoping open fish pretty much man that was like pulling teeth to get that fish to hit a little old female with some eggs in her there all right brother He got it. That's a better fish there. Now that's a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take that. Maybe we found the color they like. Not no giant. Serviceable. serviceable works
course, once again, I guess I should just leave it on. Caught that one. Fat little fish. Old ditch pickle. Pretty fish. Real pretty fish. Hey everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. So we're gonna try to do something today based off what we have here. So I don't know what that's gonna entail yet as far as the cook goes. We're gonna get into it shortly. I'll get the ingredients out as soon as the fish gets done thrown here. So this is admittedly quite some time since this video was taken. So anyway, we're gonna figure out what kind of ingredients we have and see what we can throw together and see how it turns out. So stick with us. Okay, so I think what we found for ingredients uh, that we have so far is we're gonna use this orange pepper, purple onion, some red gold petite diced tomatoes or green chilies, a lemon, some lemon pepper, cayenne, and some dill. I actually had to cut this pepper up and make sure it's still good. So I, I had some yellow onions that I wanted to use for this. It would have been better, but they were no good. So that tells you about I'm keeping up with grocery shopping. Okay, it's pretty much got that done. I'm gonna peel this off. Ugh. Well, this onion doesn't look too good either. We'll see when we cut into it, yeah. Okay, we're going with one vegetable. I'm going to go with that onion's no good. So uh, that's okay. We've got our, our diced tomatoes. So as soon as we get ready to uh, throw this in the wok and start sauteing it down, I'll get back with you. All right, guys. So I skipped a little step here. What I got for you is I've got my peppers in my wok here. So really like using this thing. I need to start using it more. I've added a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to saute that down for a little bit, then add my petite diced tomatoes or green chilies. And then we're going to let that simmer for a while till everything gets soft. And then by the time we have our crappie, sort of, <clears throat> I don't know how you want to call it, pan fried, blackened or whatever, we will put that over rice and then add our, our topping over that and do a taste test, see how it turns out. So 
stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be good. All right, I've got some thicker fillets here that I have already dried off. We still got our pepper sauteing over there. They need a, a little bit longer, so we're going to go ahead and put some seasoning on our fish. When I'm doing something like this, and I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have the fish, you know, whole. I'm not going to cut it up. I actually do like the thicker fillets, um, which is one of the only times I would prefer, you know, a bigger fillet over a smaller one. But anyway, uh, this should be enough for what we're going to do here. And uh, let's get them seasoned up. Man, I really love the way those, uh, that pepper smells as it cooks over there. I wish y'all could smell it through the, through the screen. So we're gonna be pretty liberal with this. Lemon pepper, we're gonna make a mess too, it looks like. Cayenne, since I'm really only cooking for myself right now, I can spice it up how I want. And I like it spicy. And dill. So I used dill the other day for like the first time uh, on something similar to this. And I really like the way it turned out. So if you've never tried cooking with it, give it a shot. Okay, let's see if we're ready to add our pot really never gets too hot. I like that. Oh yeah. I may have should have stirred them a little bit earlier. That's okay. I got the oil in there with them. They're doing fine. Alright, we'll cool it off with this real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the whole can. No sense in cutting hairs with that. All right, I'm gonna put the lid back on. I'm actually gonna turn the heat down on this. I want that to steam for a while. I'm gonna turn that down up here, turn it down lower. I'm gonna put the lid back on the wok. I'm gonna let that steam for a while. I want it to get good, soft, really a soft texture there on that, and we'll get to cooking the fish. All right, we got the first set going here. Not quite as high as I'd like it to be when I put them on, but hey, we cooking. And I'm starting to get hungry because it smells great. I'm going to pour me a little bit more wine, and then we'll get back with it. <laughs> All right, our fish is done. I have rolled our lemon and cut it in half. I like to roll it. It brings the juice out when you squeeze it instead of you trying to have to really work for it. So we're going to squeeze some of this lemon over the top. Oh, got one seed in there. And all we're waiting on now is for our rice to finish and to give you a taste test. So it's getting close, it's getting close. All right, so we have our bed of rice here. We're going to get, it's probably gonna break here cause I'm trying to use a fork. Yep, I should've just picked it up with my hand. I'm gonna do that right now. <clears throat> we're gonna get a couple fillets. And we're going to move over here. And we're going to put our topping on. Sorry guys, this is kind of tough with one hand. I guess I could have got my head mount out. This is simmered down nicely. A little bit more here. Okay, all right, taste test coming in hot. All right, let's see what we're working with here. It's gonna be super hot, I know it, but the fish is cooked just right, flaky. Need to get a pepper in there if I can. Oh, got it. Well, <clears throat> I nailed the spice part with the diced chilies and the 
the red tomatoes and the cayenne pepper I put on there, it's definitely got the heat thing nailed, which is great. I love it, but I could have backed off of that a little bit. Besides that, it's excellent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for the next one, guys. We got some great stuff coming up. Bear with me. We're going to get better at this. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. Thanks, guys. Out.